Hey everybody, how are you? So this is the adult curriculum for Yellow Belt. We're gonna go through the adult uh, karate techniques, self-defense techniques, starting with the late sword. Ending with, what's the last one? Maze of Aggression. Maze of Aggression. Um, also for the um, upper belts for the adults, I'm gonna actually do some extensions on these two, so you'll know you can be able to add these on there. For the beginners, if you get to a place where you wanna start practicing some of these extensions, you can do that as well. So until we get back to regular classes, this is what we got, and we're gonna keep practicing and keep getting better at this stuff. So first what we're gonna start with is gonna be delayed sword. Delayed sword, defends against a right punch, either a cross or a step to right punch, coming out almost like a jab. So first thing we're doing, let's go for just a little bit right there. Cool, you can see her really good there. First thing we're doing is stepping back into a right fighting stance, doing an inward block. So that means left foot steps back. You have heel toe alignment, so you make sure that your feet are not on the same line. So if you're looking at Miss Lizzie's feet, heel toe alignment right there. As you do the inward block with your right, left hand is checking. From this position, typically what you would do is go from a neutral bow into a cat stance to be able to throw a front kick. But even in doing that, you're still keeping this block up. So you go into that front kick position, so throw a front kick and land into a right fighting stance. And right from there, right hand that's doing the block will open up and slide right down the arm into an outward hand sword. So facing away from the camera. Now, just like we're in class, so you're just gonna follow along with Miss Lizzie right now. So you have stepping back into a right fighting stance, inward block with the right. Then you're gonna pick that front leg up and go into a front kick to the groin, land into a right fighting stance, and outward hand sword. So here's what we got. Come back over here. If I'm attacking Miss Lizzie, she's stepping back, inward block here, front kick goes to the groin, and as she lands, she comes out of it with a hand sword. Now, for the uh, advanced belts, come over here. Advanced belts, after the block, after the punch, go ahead. So it comes in, go for my kick, I can't, I'm sorry, I cannot kick, I'm still injured, but that front kick actually goes to the groin. So from here, I'm gonna throw that front kick to the groin from there, land into an outward hand sword. Your extension for this is gonna go from this hand sword, and you're finishing off with five swords and the extension on five swords. So from this hand sword, I'm going to a straight finger thrust to the eyes. From here, I'm gonna rotate back to a neutral bow, uppercut to the stomach, this hand sword, next one, is picking the other person up. So we pick him up with that hand sword. From there, inward hand sword, claw to the face, outward hand sword, and I can drag up from here because I'm not actually kicking. I can still drag up and from here, do a hooking heel kick right underneath that groin as I cover out. All right, so again, it comes in. I go block, front kick, hand sword, finishing off with five swords, and right from there, come in, strike, and then I can come out. Awesome. Next technique we're going with is attacking mace. If we're step through right punch, but this time we're going to be on the outside of the punch. So she's going to step back into a left fighting stance, inward block with the left. Now on this one, you don't have your backhand chamber. I mean, you don't have a checking. It's going to come back into a chamber position. So try to remember you're in the left fighting stance. We'll face away from the camera in just a little while so you guys can kind of follow along just like you're in class. We're doing this way so you can see all the moves. So you have your inward block. From that block position, that same hand that's blocking is gonna go into a check as you check at the elbow. From there, you're gonna to rotate to a forward bow. When you throw the punch, the punch is going underneath that check. So it's a body strike, and this check stays up by your face. Your stance is going from a neutral bow to a forward bow as you turn. So I want your hip to turn and that back foot to turn. So if you look at her back foot, it's pointed straight ahead. So you want your hip power coming behind that punch. From that position, the same hand that punches, which is your right, is gonna come around and grab. And you're holding them there because you're gonna do a step through roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick's going to the stomach. So you're gonna step through, turn your body, round kick, drop into a right fighting stance, and as you're doing that, this right hand is still holding onto their shoulder, and from there you're gonna rotate to a neutral, from a neutral into a lunge stance to go into your reverse punch. And it comes right back, and that reverse punch going to the kidney. So bring it back, again, actually let's face away. So from here, step back to left fighting stance, inward block, same hand that blocks, checks. Now from here you're gonna rotate to forward bow, Reverse punch, remember that reverse punch is going to the body. From there, same hand that punch, re-grabs. From there, step through roundhouse kick to the stomach, land into a good fighting stance, and as you're holding them, turn them, reverse punch right to the low back there, okay? So, come back. 
From here, if I throw the punch at Miss Lizzie, she's stepping back away. Block, check. Now that punch goes to the body. As she hits, if I start to go away, she re grabs so I can't go anywhere. From there, step to round kick, boom. Lands here, and as she turns me, goes right into it that way, okay? So what you guys are gonna have from here, okay? punch. So I'm going, block, check, reverse punch to the body, grab. That roundhouse kick goes to the body, and then you'll land from here. Now, as I turn and punch, what's gonna happen, I'm gonna grab as an extension on here, I'm gonna kick the back of this leg, right by, uh, either right at the ankle or just above the ankle, because it's gonna be kind of sweep, stay right there. As I sweep, I'm gonna kick and pull back at the same time. That's gonna get the person to hit the ground. So from here, I'm gonna hit, strike, and when they get to the ground, I'm just turning my head on this side, it's a stomping heel kick, and then you cover out from there. Come on back up. So again, punch comes in, it's block check, reverse punch grab, kick, Turn, punch, grab, kick them off the feet, kick, and we cover out. Awesome. All right, coming back, next technique is going to be deflecting hammer. This is for a step to right front kick coming towards your stomach. So the first thing she's going to do is drop back, downward block. From that downward block position, she's going to rotate to a neutral bow. I mean, I'm sorry, to a forward bow. This left hand is actually pinning the person's arm against their body. A lot of times when we do this in class, a lot of you guys are way up here really high. What she's doing, she's pinning my arm right at the elbow against my body so I can't go anywhere. So you turn to a forward bow and check. From here, she's gonna rotate back to a neutral to in inward elbow, but that check still stays there on the arm. So as I do this, I'm not pulling this hand back to do an elbow this way. It stays in front just like hers is. All right, come back, face this way. Let's get you centered. Okay, let's move back just a little bit. Perfect, all right. So from here, drop back, downward block. You should be in a good right neutral bow. From there, you're gonna rotate to a forward bow, check, and right from that check, we're gonna rotate back to a neutral bow, inward elbow, just those three moves, okay? So come back, let's go actually from here. So kick comes in, I'm blocking, pinning that arm from here, step in, in, inward elbow, and I drop there. Come back, let's go this way. So from here, the kick comes in, I step back, block, check, inward elbow. Now, as an extension from here, I could drag up and do a whipping back fist right to the kidney. As I do that, I'm gonna go here and come up. I'm shooting my right leg up as my right arm goes back. What's gonna end up happening, stay right there, is I'm gonna do a scissor motion to take, them, take her down. So from here, as this is gonna buckle the back of her leg, this is gonna go right across the top of that chest, and as I do both at the same time, that's gonna be a takedown. From here, I'm gonna step up, turn my left knee in, and drop that knee right on the chest. From there, I'm gonna rotate over, drop my other knee on the chest, as we punch the face, kick out, and we cover out. So again, kick comes in, block, check, elbow, back fist, into a takedown, knee, Knee strike and kick. That's all we got for a deflecting hammer, okay? Now, from here for thrusting salute, here's what we got. We're gonna drop back into a left fighting stance for a downward block, and we're blocking against a kick, and it's gonna be followed by a right punch. So right after you block the kick, she's gonna bring that left arm around into an extended outward block. Extended outward block, I want your palm facing out. I don't want your palm facing you. So you're gonna end up blocking with the outside of the arm, keep a nice left bent elbow, and that's your out, extended outward block for that punch. From here, she's gonna throw a step through front kick, and that step through front kick is going to the groin. So she's gonna do a really low front kick, land into a right fighting stance, and she does a heel palm with the right hand. Left hand is up checking, okay? So now, face away from the camera, you follow along with her. Step back and drop into a downward block, so you're in a left fighting stance. From here, that same left arm comes around, extended outward block. Then we're gonna do a step to front kick and land into a good heel palm. Good job. All right, so that's what we got. Kick comes in, I drop back, downward block. As the punch comes up, extended outward block. From here, I'm gonna do a step to front kick right to the groin and I drop into a heel palm from there. Awesome. All right, last one, makes of aggression. Now, this is for double lapel grab, okay? First thing she's gonna do, she's gonna reach over with her left and grab, 
as she drops her elbow to pin, she's gonna step forward into a right fighting stance as she does hammer fist. Hammer fist is going right to the bridge of that nose, okay? From here, we're going to take that arm, and that arm is going to just roll right down the person's arm. I'm going to show you that in a little while. But as she rolls it in, what she's doing, she's hitting from the bicep, rolling down to bring that person's face closer to her. As she does that, now she's going to pick that right arm up and throw an inward elbow to the face, and then she's going to reach back across her chest and come back to the same target with the outward elbow to the face. So that's what she got. Come back. Uh, let's go this way. From here, she reaches over and she'll grab, step in, hammer fist to the face. Now she'll use just her wrist to hit right from the bicep and roll her way down. That brings my head back in. Then she goes in with the inward elbow, reaches back, boom, outward elbow. So face this way, we're gonna do it with them. Reach over and grab with that left, lock that elbow down, step forward into a right fighting stance with your hammer fist. From here, we're gonna use that same arm doing the hammer fist, roll back in, and right from there, she's gonna go with the inward elbow to the face, and you're gonna reach back, outward elbow to the face. Awesome. All right, so that's the end of the five techniques there for your yellow belt curriculum. Um, on a different video, we're gonna also gonna start doing the master form with you guys, and we'll do them separately. So for right now, that's just your yellow belt portion, just getting just those five techniques, and you also know what it looks like on the body, um, if you have somebody at home you want to practice on, you can do that. Have some fun with it. Just don't hurt anybody right now, okay? And uh, that's it.